OK, joined by Dublin Senior Football Manager Desi Farrell ahead of the start of the Allianz League this weekend. It's Dublin against Monaghan at Crow Park on Saturday evening at half past seven. Uh, Desi, I guess this time of the year, it's the start of the league. I'm sure yourself and the lads are very much looking forward to getting going again now for 2024. Yeah, definitely. It's, um, it's, it seems like a long time since uh, we last played um, back in July. So it's, it's, it's been a while, so it's great to get back at it, you know. It, the pre-season is tough uh, without competitive games to look forward to but as they inch closer um, you can see the appetite and the pep and the step with the lads and uh, so everyone's looking forward to it. Yeah and from that point of view obviously we're coming off the back of pre-season and, and the O'Byrne Cup in particular over the past uh, three weeks or so. How valuable did you find the O'Byrne Cup in terms of maybe having a look at some of the fresher faces that might be able to make it into the panel? Yeah, it's, it's always been a useful exercise. Um, last year was very good to us. Um, this year as well, you know, a little bit of a mixed bag in terms of the performances. Uh, made it to the final. Disappointing um, performance in the final. Semi-final was very different, uh, very good display. So you, you see the best and worst of lads. And, you know, for young players, consistency can be tough. Um, for sure, but um, sometimes in the tougher days we see who are the most resilient, who are putting up the hand, who are the leaders on the pitch. So, so even though the result wasn't what we would have wanted the last day, it was great to see our players being challenged in that way, and uh, it, it told us a lot about them for sure. So we've we've taken a handful of lads up um, over the last week, and uh, it's about bedding them in, you know, getting them properly inducted into the system and um, the culture around the place, and uh, we take it from there then. Yeah, and to that end, I guess, what can we expect from the league over the next few weeks? Will it be kind of a blend of the, those kind of newer faces alongside the more experienced guys, or will it be mostly kind of the experienced guys that we obviously know from last year and the last few years? Yeah, it'll be a little bit of both. Um, obviously, the National League is hugely competitive, and uh, so we want to be as competitive as we possibly can, but also with one eye in the big picture in terms of blood and uh, new emerging talent as well. So it'll be great to get an opportunity to try uh, some more of these young players out in, in bigger games against different competition. Yeah, and finally, look at Monaghan themselves. Obviously, we've faced Monaghan a good few times over the past few years. A team you know and we all know quite well. And whenever we face them, it's always very much nip and tuck right till the very, very end. I'm sure you can expect something similar this weekend. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, it, nobody really knows where everyone is at. Uh, coming into the first game of the league, you know, the Bourne Cup, uh, we were trying out a younger team. The Monaghan and the McKenna Cup, uh, it was very varied for them as well. So. Um, it's a little bit of the unknown uh, this weekend. We're going to feel a strong team. I think building momentum is going to be hugely important. But similarly for, for Monaghan, uh, they will see this as an opportunity to get two points on the board. Uh, they've been very, very sticky opponents for us over the years. Um, none more so than last year's uh, All-Ireland semi-final when it was only in the last 10 minutes we probably pulled away. And uh, that was nip and tuck right the way up until that point in the game. So, uh, yeah, we expect a huge challenge. Uh, we really have to be on it. And it's, uh, two points are going to be very important to start to build the momentum.